Hello lovely people, welcome to my Doeython TBR video. I've already been taking part in Sequelathon Readathon this month, but I've also decided to just relay race my way into another Readathon straight away. So, um, Doeython is a Readathon focused on reading Welsh books. It seems to be mainly happening in like the blogger world, but I saw this on uh, Shan's channel and I thought I would join in because I got really excited. <laughs> So I've got four books that I want to read for the rest of March, I'm just going to run through them quickly for you. So first of all is Terza and the Prince of Crows by Deborah K. Davies. Um, this is one that I've been meaning to prioritise reading for a while, story of my life. Um, this is inspired by Welsh mythology um, and I, I gather that the story is sort of reminiscent of like a fable in many ways, but um, it seems quite rooted in sort of contemporary times. So it's set in the 70s, um, and our main character, presumably Terza, um, she is living in a little world village. She falls in love with a boy, blah, blah, blah. Um, and all these things like lead to some sort of conflict. I don't know how rooted in reality this is going to be. I did dip into it previously. I read a couple of chapters, and then I got distracted and didn't finish it. Um, and it seemed quite realistic, but this knowledge that it's based on Welsh mythology in some way leads me to thinking, is it just because I didn't actually get very far into it? Um, so this is probably going to be the one that I start with because I'm really excited to actually finish the thing. But um, I've heard good things, and we'll see how that goes. Um, the second book is Black Maria by Diana Wynne-Jones. I've been meaning to read Diana Wynne-Jones for ages. Um, specifically, I know Howl's Moving Castle is a big thing. But um, I know that a lot of her work is influenced by Welsh mythology because she did live in Wales when she was a child. Um, this one in specific, I don't know if it's set in Wales or not. I know it's about a girl who goes to stay with her um, aunt in this little town where everything seems normal, but it seems like there might be some stuff going on under the surface. And I think there's going to be a lot of like magical mythology inspired stuff happening. But um, it seems like a nice little start point for my Diana Wynne Jones journey. I'm hoping she'll be an author who I will enjoy and want to continue reading, but this is going to be my first one of hers I've read. After that is Between Here and Now, Poems by R.S. Thomas. Um, this really intrigues me because all of these poems are, each poem is inspired by a different impressionist painting in the Louvre, and I think that sounds really interesting as a start point, and when you go through they have the picture on one side and then the poem on the other side, um, which is I like art, that's something that interests me. Um, this and the next book have been lent to me by my boyfriend who has much more Welsh literature than I do, but um, I'm excited for this one. I've never read any R.S. Thomas, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, and then the final one seems like quite a classic choice, which I'm sure many other people will be reading for this, um, but that's Under Milkwood by Dylan Thomas. I've never properly read any Dylan Thomas, despite him being a very well-known poet, so I'm excited to change that and see how I feel about his work. But yeah, that's one that I know is quite big. <laughs> but that's it. I just wanted to do a little quick video of just what I was going to be reading. Um, I would love to know if you're taking part in Doeython, what are you reading? Or if you have any recommendations for um, Welsh books that I should have on my radar. That would be really fab. But otherwise, I will see you next time for something different.